Oh, that did like twice the amount of a normal attack. Uh, because I'm two handing a shield right now. <laughs> Whoops. Which is not what I wanted. Y and R1, right? But it's what happens. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. Uh-oh. That can reactivate! I did not know. That is a temporary deactivation. I wonder if it was timed or if you, like, hit it or... Whatever the case. Mm. Mm. Stun lock. We can't reach you guys. Didn't I have something for throwing? Um. I want to say there was something for throwing. Wasn't it with rune fragments? No. Crafting. Or throwing at enemies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's just see if we can... Beta. Ah. Well, that's cool. One more? Or was that it? Seems like that's it. I did it! Ghost grave work this time. Right? And a smoldering butterfly. What are those? So we got a grave earlier, glove word, and this is a ghost glove word. Uh, spirit Strength is ashes to plus one. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Ghost glove word? No, the other thing. Oh, it's butterfly. Was a butterfly, smoldering butterfly. Smoldering butterfly. Eternally burning butterfly and found near wildfires and elsewhere. Material used for crafting. Okay. Out of sips. So that sound sounds like. You know? Posture break type of thing? Yeah. But then, uh, I'm not getting the front repost. So, I'm not 100% certain, certain on why not. Um... Well, that's weird. Oh, no. And where will it put us back? Same room, hopefully. <sighs> Offline. Oh. Back online. Cool. Right where the enemies are. Mm hmm. Dead? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just, like, walking towards death right now. Uh, let me see if I can't just, like, now that I've cleared that out, sprint back up here. Oh my god. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> fall down. We're fall, testing fall, fall damage. damage. <laughs> like, I believe they've made how a high. They've made a believer out of me. <laughs> they've made a believer out of me for sure. Now, what I'm curious to test actually is what the sprint looks like. How aggressive do people follow me to the next room? Mm. Um, let's go back to 3-2, actually. Bit more balance. I can see myself going back and forth between these. Pew, 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 pew. Especially with, like, dudes on the walls and up, up high. Yeah, trying um, to get them down and you stuff. You know, I'm like, ah, uh, well, fuck off. So let's see, let's say I ignore y'all. How do you treat that? Yeah, you don't like it. But you also don't care. You generally don't care. You kinda care. Very slowly. Only one of you. You're the only one that does. Do you care? Nope. But that sound might be like a late drop. Yeah, see? No. Don't fall for it. Super slow. Make him react faster. Sometimes... Like that, like when an enemy is like in a spot, there's a trigger point for like if he walk if the if the player walks away, oh they'll chase chase after a certain distance. So that's cheeky. Yeah, don't assume just because they don't aggro what in your when you cross paths with them that doesn't mean they're not going to after. Sniper ahead, and then be wary of right. Too far. No. No, he didn't like it. These projectiles are fast. Uh-oh. Nice timing. Good kiting. <laughs> hmm. Summoning spirits. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time, and you cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Yeah, so there's cool summons. I've seen some videos of 100 noble ashes. Cool, cool. Liar ahead. Hidden path ahead. So, uh, I'm assuming we have to do this at, I think it just said we have to, do, do we, we do it at a bonfire, uh, for assigning them. What category is that under? Which item? Here we go. Uh -huh. Ashes. Summon five wandering noble spirits. 
Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirits of five wandering nobles, the spirit of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was has long been forgotten. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to sit down and see if we can we can do that. Uh, what else is going on? Anything else? So, dead end. And then there's the main door. Oh. Okay. Ah. Somewhere, Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Where's the third guy? I hear you. Ha! First off, I want to go home. Elden, Elden Ring, oh, oh Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. Dog! Try luring out. Erdtree bur Burial Watchdog. Oh, it is here to kill. What a strange move set. It's like made of stone, yeah. Oh, that was fast. Whoa. Holy shit. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He's so stiff. And then huge AOE. Right to business. And then you're going to get it again. And then you're going to get it again. And then, boom! Swipe. Man, you think that tail Stab. is a thing? Maybe not. now's not the time, but... <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> he has a left, right. Close. Oh! <laughs> what an interesting, like, moveset rhythm. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fun. That's fun. That'll that'll teach you to anticipate and counter. You know. And now we open the door. Yeah, 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 let's go! <laughs> Getting high for shortcuts, let's go! Three sixty. Oh, there's an attack for the back. Uh-oh. 
Damn. Watchdog cat has moves. Oh god. And then that. Stinger. Oh, you got more than a- you got more than a- you look. You got a few more things. Damn. Okay, the fire tracked this way, so maybe we can sprint around. Otherwise, we could maybe try to roll past it. Mm. Ah, I gotta use the bathroom, but let me get back in there one more time. One. Yeah, <laughs> I feel I feel like that those that type of animation is like well, as tricky as it is. I think it's a great tutorial fight for like learning how to deal with this type of thing. Damn. You can do four? Watch where you're running. Stinger. Oh, that face! Not that timing. Now. Nope. Too early. Whew. You can sprint away from it, though. So you don't actually have to time the roll. <laughs> Oh my god. Getting cat scratched. Uh, yeah, we can get four missiles out. Maybe even get a sip in before we... ...start again. Yo! That's kind of cool. Fire. Ah, uh, you can't reach. You can't reach. Uh oh, uh oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you would say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different slam. <laughs> oh my god. That hurts. That hurts. Alright, don't get caught up. Um, make sure you can sprint from that. But if you run the whole time, you actually end up hitting a wall. So it might be smarter to wait yeah. and roll. Yeah, there are a few pillars and walls and weird jutting elements that can impede your movement. Mmm. Mmm. 82 per shot. Whoa. That's insane. That's an anime overhead. Yeah, it teleported, right? <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> Let's go.
Nice. You might have seen it all. Damn. Two more times. Uh-oh. Flames. And then there's a blind spot, and then he does a quick turn. 360. Oh my god. Oh, yeah? Gotcha. Okay. You can't turn that. Quick overhead time. Flames. Can I stand on this lava? I don't know. But you've dodged it up to now. Watch out. Yeah, so the, there's you have time for one swing there. Stinger. Stinger. Uh oh. All right. Almost there. Anime chop. Will there be a fourth? No, anime chop time. Okay, that was, that was sneaky. Oh, that was tight. That was sneaky. Let's go. Enemy failed. Feld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Right on. You did it. Return to entrance. <laughs> Let's just make sure we grab everything before we do. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Just messages? Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, choppy cat, huh? Mm hmm. I appreciate your tilt attempts. Tilt attempts? What do you mean, tilt attempts? <laughs> what? what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What do you mean by <laughs> tilt attempts? 
Because if you're getting tilted, that's not, that's on you. They didn't. They didn't. I. They didn't. That's all. They you. didn't. I just. I just. I. I noticed them. I'm like oh, Reggie's. Like, I was cheering he's, on you. He's, he's throwing. <laughs> he's doing it. He's been waiting. No. Your time has come. I'm in your corner. Hell yeah. I'm Mickey. Cat scratches. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want you to catch a cat, scat, a cat scratch disease, you know? Yeah! Ooh, he's bleeding! <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. Ah, that's fun. So that was just like a, a dungeon thing? Yeah, so I think so. That's what's, that's the deal. It's like, there's these little dungeons. You clear them out, and it's just like a mini thing, mm -hmm. you know? So, um... Then I guess my my thought is, uh, I I can't do my summon, or I can't assign my summon from here. Then, uh, unless it counts as a spell, would it be under that? Memorize spells. No, no, we're gonna have to find something else then. And we were rewarded with a. Noble sorcerer Ash. Uh huh. Ash remains, Ash and remains in which uh, spirits yet dwell. Use summon, use to summon the spirits of a noble sorcerer, sorcerer of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Raya Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he's only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Hmm. Okay. I imagine if I'm summoning one dude versus like three dudes, that one dude must be a badass. I hope so. I hope so too. Uh, so that's a lot of souls to not spend anywhere. Damn, I fucking. I gotta find. I gotta find our. Our level ups. Hmm. I mean, will it reach? Nope. That's fine. Faded. I just want to, um, not lose these. I could go spend them at the shop, though. Get some <laughs> items in your pockets? Yeah. Because... I know that we have to find... If I remember from the, from the network test, at the very least, from what I saw, you've got to make it to a specific... bonfire. <laughs> I swear, I'm trying. I'm trying. Fuck it, no! <laughs> no! Um, Bonfire forever. <laughs> and... And, uh... Once you do, you meet somebody who can help you level up. Um, but... I don't know where that is, so... Let's go shopping. It is a big area. You're back. We can now buy a helmet, which is, is it better than our others? I don't know. It, it was, right? I think it was 4.2 for the current one we had. No, 6.8 is our current one. And... Uh, oh yeah, well these are worth something too. I can add some defense with a little bit of that. And 6.8 to our helmet is still better. That was worse. Uh, torch, I was considering. And how about this by comparison? Chain leggings, 6.8 versus 
Nothing? Yeah, alright. Gotta be careful with the weight, though. Mm. Still medium load. And you are over health. And it still says medium. Let's see how this goes. Uh, chain leggings. Waypoint ruins. Uh, yeah, I wanted to grab a torch. Goodbye. Let's see it. Chain gauntlets. Medium. Heavy. Okay. So... 35.3 is heavy. 31. Alright, let's see how the roll looks. Yeah, oh that's boy. a fat roll. That's a fatty. Uh, let's see. So... 6.8, 2.9. How's the difference between their medium? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. Alright. We got that. That's not bad. I... So heavy is like, what, 66% or something? Or I think it's 70%. 70? Okay. I do believe it's 70%. Man, that's a nice looking tree. Mm-hmm. So, when we lit up that first grace, mm -hmm. it like... It made a line. A line. And that line, I believe, is what this is pointing to. See this part? Okay. And I, do they all point to something? No. I think just these ones okay. are leading us towards things. That crossroad thing. Okay. I'd be worried if I was him. Yeah, too late, buddy. Sneaking on the campfire. Kukri. Hey. <laughs> So that is that is that he named for the uh, the type of weapon? That's what it is. Okay, I guess so. Yeah. It looks like the kind of weapon that he would wear on him. Kukri, KOF fifteen character, Sand Boy, Sand Perv. I guess I gotta stand up to get that stab. Oops. Behold, cave. Okay. Also, you can hold spells for more damage. The mana doesn't cost us a change. Oh! Didn't know that. Oh, so they can hurt more? For yeah. Free? Yeah. There we go. Grace. We got some grace. Sit on it. Nice. Uh, where is this? Right here. Groveside Cave. No, uh, no trail to indicate. But I guess if we move in this general direction, that's the, that's the suggestion. Uh, in fact, let me clear this off. And just assume that's what we want to do. Cool. Uh, take a peep in this cave, maybe? Praise the clear sky. Behold. Enemy. Well. I'd say this is the time. To torch up? Yeah. Alright, we got three things to cycle through. <laughs> So let's get used to that. Actually, if that's what they want to do, 
And let's do this. God ahead. God? Be, Be wary, wary of, of up, up, dog. Oh, those are some wolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big dog. That is a real wolf. Huge. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog is real. Oh. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, don't do that. Yep. Suffering. That's horrible. Crying dogs. Oh, he backdashed it. Or no, it just didn't do anything. It didn't work out. Hmm. Or no, I think he did backdash it. You cave boss. That's the first time I've seen an enemy jump up like that. That wasn't like a boss. Mm. Was that a charged one? No. Read the message. Arms. Behold rump. Cracked hey. pot. Could this be an item? Sure is. Uh oh. <laughs> Jump over the dog. Yeah, we're gonna have to get used to that. Glowstone. Times three. Alright, let's check that out in a second. Sounds like you put it down and it glows. Polished rune fragment that shines brighter than a rainbow stone. Craftable item. Emits light from the location it is placed, illuminating surroundings. However, the effect is short-lived and it lacks the diverse colors of rainbow stones. May serve some benefit in dark places or at night. So, I bet you, like, you're gonna have to memorize like these locations for like s coming back here if you want to get more of those fireflies, you know? For like, sp you know, specific crafting. Assuming that's what that was. Uh, firefly that gives off a silvery light. Crafting items found near bodies of cold water untouched by sunlight. Light of fireflies is believed to have an alluring magic. Silver light is considered to invite riches. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a sprawling ass adventure, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, fucking Skyrim esque. And it's. wandering. Damn. Victory ahead. Try jump attack. Try head. Okay. Uh, 
let's see what we got. Beastman of Farum Azula. All right. Oh, damn. Yo, that's a big old swing. Are you tired? Yeah, yeah, you are. Three, four, five, six. That cost everything, though. Oh, Lunge. the skeleton lunges? Yeah. Oh, I'm out. True. Oh, you are dry. <laughs> yes. And that's the one. Oh, man. It goes far with that one. All right. You're not too bad. I just need to get some healing to get you. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, beast man. You got some moves. It's all bloodied up. Uh, you don't really get straight. Uh, you don't go straight to him, though. The dogs are in the way, so you're going to have to deal each time. Damn. So let's not waste... Unless we can. Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Get out of the way. Let me put a couple of these up. <laughs> yeah, Damn. one, two, three, four. That's faster than it looks. Yeah, it goes far. One, two. That didn't work. Nice. Very nice. Oh, he doesn't like the magic cheese. Out of FP. Cool. Nice.
Oh shit. Six hit combo. Uh. Enemy failed. Flame Drake Talisman. Oh, is that your first talisman? That's our first talisman. Let's go. Good job. Talisman depicting a red ancient dragon. Boost fire damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the earth tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manners of protection. Damn, that's some early ass flame protection. Before the earth tree. Cool. Uh, you weigh 0 0.6. Okay, so talismans, talismans do have weight. Kind of like when rings had weight. Okay. Damn. Keep that in mind. Boss required ahead. Okay. Eh, you know. <laughs> people are just... Nonsense. Just, yeah. Cool. Return to entrance. So yeah, you do a little cave. You get a little... A little something something. A little something something. Ooh, that's cool. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, three two, three two. You know, currently get, get better at not getting hit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, three all right. Thousand. Oh, souls. Probably a couple levels. I'm gonna assume. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Do you want to go deeper into the unknown? I do. But uh, because of the uh, weirdness of this first session being pretty late, I'm thinking maybe... Oh, okay. Let's do a little bit. Let's do a little bit more. Just a wee bit. Just a bit more. But we're getting late, and it's... Uh, just a little bit good time, you know? Just yeah. Just a yeah. Yeah. Satisfy my curiosity. That's fine. This is a charged one. So it almost kills. Yeah. And it doesn't have an extra cost to it. That's really good. You can Mega Man charge before going in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can be your own assist. <laughs> like Black Dynamite. Yeah. I threw that chair in the room before I came in. <laughs> Be your own assist. <laughs> That's fucking cool. <laughs> Damn. Dynamite! Dynamite! <laughs> oh, man. Too far. What if it's charged and it goes for- Nah, no distance improvement. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait, you want some? Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> Fine. Holy shit. Jesus, if you ask. Beast blood and gold and shit excrement. We got gold shit. Oh, what up, boar? What up, gangster? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> it's hard to aim low. Sorry, you got in the way. Is it because I'm locked on? Yes, it is. It's because I was locked on to him. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. Oh, we're following that thing on the compass? Yeah. What is that? Teardrop Scarab. These are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrops. Uh, they are both Cerulean and Crimson Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks of their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum allows. Free sips. Okay. You will be remembered. In the wilds? That's pretty good. We can get up here. More fragments. Okay, well, we know what to look for if we need fragments. This yeah. broken down shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of things. Statue of a badass over there, most likely. And this looks like a little camp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Civilization. A cart. Popper. You know what? Unfortunately, it it makes more sense over here for now. Mm. Let's see if we can do some unique. <laughs> no, Whoops. no, maybe not. <gasps> Jumping let's, too strong. Let's say platform a little bit, and then you know, use the use the environment. Spider-Maning it. Yeah, like... Like this. Gatefront Ruins. Guys, do you see that over there? Oh! <laughs> oh, Borns. Oh, oh, not free. Come on, commit, commit, commit. Oh boy. Back's on the wall. No, he said. Let's go. You're going down. Hammer boy. Unless. All right, all right. Lord Sorn Bolt. Man, that took your stamina. A big yeah, hammer swing? Yeah, no, that was a crumple. Holy. Which means no, uh, no counter. 
Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The skull breaking yeah. is not good. It, it's physics based entirely, and I don't like it. The stab is R1? Yes. And R2 is the side swipe? Yes. And they're both high. Oh, so you can't for, go low? Okay. This weapon just doesn't swing in a way that others would. Let's like an, an axe would be fine. You know, a bunch of other weapons would be fine. But this 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 one in particular is uh, not not gelling well with that. Did he spot you? Sure. Wow, he tanked it. Stagger. Yeah, stabbing the sapped. Chase. Nice. Man. Yo. Parry, baby. Hmm. No more shenanigans. Almost. Did that count? Almost it blew the. Did. It counted. Yeah. He blew the hammer. Oh, oh, he blew the hammer. Yeah. 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 All right. Everybody knows. All right. Everybody knows you're coming to visit. Fine. <laughs> fine. 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 Not what I wanted. <laughs> Like, it was frame one, fucking... <laughs> you know? Come on. You can't do me better than that. <laughs> Good enough, we're awake. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Spells, you say? <laughs> and he's out of sips? We're coming. <laughs> My bed is done. <laughs> oh, not too tall. Not quite. Well, since he's dead, that means he theoretically should not... Uh, ...alert anybody from here on out. What's your line of sight like? Let's give it a little test. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I guess so they all return to their position. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh no! No uh -oh. flasks, no nothing. Can't Retreat. Drop. Retreat. Get some sips. Uh, At the store or something. Is that... Yeah, right there. Okay. Let's get past him. See that? The gold right behind him, I uh -huh. think, I think is... Oh, the lines are yeah, going there, yeah. Exactly. We just need a little bit. Oh, yeah. You can refill your cerulean, cerulean tears. Oh, you don't have no more? No. Damn. And I fucked up that cast. Too far. He's backing up. And we're making a sprint. Early flower. 
<laughs> okay, nobody's there. <laughs> Lost grace discovered. <laughs> good shit, good shit. <laughs> Don't snipe from that far away. Ah, this is the one we're looking for. All right, excellent. Cutscene. Greetings. What up? Traveler from beyond the fog. Ah, yeah. I am Melina. I'm your level up lady. <laughs> you should recognize me by now. Cute wayfish British accent. I offer you an accord. Seek, seek, last. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. Oh, shit. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. And your lips are moving. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Hell yeah. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Let me see if I can fit you in to my Rolodex here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a couple of available slots for a maiden or two. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Bitch, that ain't no Elden Ring. <laughs> Shit. Not what I was promised. Damn. For a second, I thought. You got it? Ah! <laughs> Credits. <laughs> Just a picture of George R. R. Martin in his back backyard playing Skyrim, <laughs> doing everything but writing the next book. <laughs> Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Yeah. Didn't Torrent smell us at the beginning? It smelt our pants, though. Yeah, okay. It was like, oh, <laughs> 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 Hell no. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Let's check up on him at the next rainfall. The principles you would follow. Yes. You hear that? That's the sound of level up lady talking while you're doing the leveling. As opposed to before or after. Talk all your shit. Yeah, while I'm doing it. Bars while we level up. Level up menu. Finally. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. Yeah! And yeah, you got a couple of levels there. Alright. Now we're feeling healthy. I've seen this before. <laughs> Full strength. Let's do this. I want... Well, let me let me talk a bit about what uh, what I'm thinking uh, uh, more so than anything okay. is um, I want strength and intelligence. Okay, so I want strength and intelligence high because I want to cast and fight. Okay, I want to use weapons that are going to probably be strength based weapons as I cast. So 
the goal is to spell sword. Dex, I'm happy with 14, providing that um, I don't need any special bow and arrows that are going to be, you know, unique to that or whatever. But I don't need to worry that much about it because there's fucking spells. Yeah. Right? And also, uh, there's spell bow and arrows, too. (laughs) <laughs> it's like a fucking blue, like a magic oh, bow. You know? wow. So there's some rad shit. Um, so, okay. uh, yeah. So I want to make sure I can hit the requirements of whatever cool weapon I find. And also um, hit the spells I find. Everything else will be on a first come, not a first come first serve basis, but it'll be on a basis of um, requirements. So if I see something that needs something, I'll think about it otherwise. Uh, so expect a build that's heavy strength, heavy int, and then uh, we will build our endurance and vigor accordingly. And I'll keep mind in the background as well for FP, you know? Okay. So giving us more more, um, more FP bar would be is, is a nice thought as well. Mm-hmm. Once we get into the spells that are going to be like taking up like two per bar, or one per bar, you know, type of thing. I'm seeing something about arcane being linked to the drop rate. This item discovery. Okay. So, helpfully, what what each stat modifies is highlighted, right? So, HP yeah, going up, good. and there a little bit of everything else. Mind increasing your FP, endurance increasing your stamina, and your max equip load. Um, Does it give a description when you do help on these things? For sure. Oh, explanations. Okay. If it's like the last games. The controls. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also affects focus. Uh, and then arcane... Governing discovery also affects holy defense, defense, vitality, vitality and sorceries. 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 Yeah. So I don't know what arcane re- like needs I have yet. You know. So I'm gonna when I if I see something that asks me for something, yeah. then I'll start building towards it. But oh. in the meantime, strength int. You have a plan, and it's still early. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's nice to see stamina and equip load back together again, because. Mm. Um, it, you know, that's a nice little two-for-one. Wear better things and get more swings. But this is the build plan. Nice. 1238 for the next one. And uh-huh. I do have some pocket runes. You need uh, a bit under 600. Yeah. Use Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If it dies, you can summon it again, but it'll cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do mm. so. And you can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing L3. Okay. Also, uh, noteworthy. Oh, from the pouch on the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of them can be used without opening the menu. Uh... Right, Y plus the four directions. Yeah, uh, no, I was just going to say the... Um, y does a lot of stuff. The other nice thing is that we are in the realm of respecking, A thing that was not possible in the games you played. But respecking can, can be done... You can reassign your points to completely. different things. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So... Thank you. Not free. Not constantly. Hey, it's possible. But there I'll is... So, but there's, yeah, usually like a method or item that you get that is a rare, but specifically th- an item you cat you use, and then you can rearrange all your all your stats. That's good. Become a completely different type of build. It's a f- it's a player friendly thing that says, hey, if you don't like what you've got, build towards yeah. something else instead of saying fuck you play start over. Again. <laughs> so it's rather nice to have that option. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to take a look at my inventory and my pocket souls, a.k.a. Golden Rune. Does not say how many. Test. 
200. So you need to pop three total. Yeah. Use multiple? You selected. What does that mean? I'm not sure. I'm not going to risk. That sounds like it's going to use all of them. You know? So, maybe just... Yeah. Unless it like, allows you to select a number. Uh, I think I need one more. It would be crazy if it was like, use it all. It oh. would be. Um, <laughs> I would be sad. 12, 38. That would be very sad. <laughs> just put use all. <laughs> like, damn. Okay, yeah, you, you selected is how you do multiple. Okay. Perfect. Uh, 16? Sure. Take it to 16 and it'll sit there for a minute. Very, very nice. Now, don't mind me. I'm just gonna try out what the fuck button was it? R3? L3? No? Hmm. For the whistle? Yeah. Or was it an item that I had to equip and blow? Yeah, you got the steam uh, whistle. Oh, I was forget the name. Whoops, my mistake. On top, I guess, is that... This thing? Ah, yes. Doesn't look like a whistle. <laughs> Definitely uh, not. Dedicated gold work ring can be used as a finger whistle. Oh, I see. You, you put it your hands around and then you do the... Okay. Oh. Sound the whistle to blow... Uh, excuse me, to summon the Enri Torrent special steed. Dismounts... Uh, Steed when used while on horseback. Upon his death, Spectral Steed can be summoned again. Drains a flask of crimson tears. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. How fucking cool is that? That's pretty good. Mounted fighting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Horseback fighting, dude. And it can jump. And when you double jump, he gets off or something? Uppercut. Oh no, you can straight up double jump with the... It double jumps! Okay. Beautiful. Nice drifting. Ah! Wow. Fuck you. <laughs> and then... I'm ready for some horse battles! Uh, can I sprint here? No, not that button. Okay, other side. Stab left, stab right. Speed. Giddy up. Square to jump off. And triangle's nothing. Alright. How fucking sick. Nice to meet you, Torrent. Yeah. Oh, a bit too early. Oh no! <laughs> hmm. What if I can dry you out? Lock on. Lock on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Running circles while you're... Oh, 
that's great. That's fun. Huh. It seems like they have trouble tracking you when you're on the horse. Yeah, they're not they're not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! It's gonna cost... Estus. Uh-huh. That's fine. <laughs> this is great. He's struggling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Did he do the thing? Yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did. Alright. Just because you're mounted doesn't mean the shield is not any good. The shield is gonna do its job. But will I break if I... No. No air R2 there. <laughs> How about that? No, not really. Shield is just shield. Mm -hmm. You still gotta respect it. Fair enough. Last flask. Fair enough. Yeah, look this way. Right? Damn. Is that a thing? Oh shit! Let's go. Whoa! Okay, we gotta pay attention for this. Yep. Yeehaw! Check that out when I feel safe. There you are. Oh, is that is that close enough? Yeah, absolutely. Counter. I feel like a, a trap character in a fighting game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Setting up the ball on lockdown, left, right. Cool characters. Map. Map. Map Limgrave West. Ooh. A new map has been oh, found. Shit. Let's go. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Oh, very, now you're very talking. Very good. Excellent. Oh, I like the look of that. That is, you know, like. This bearings. is adventure calling you. Yeah, bearings. Yeah. We've got our bearings. It's a good ass map. All right, well let's let's finish clearing out the camp. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. All right. At first, I was like that. Delay is annoying and weird, but now I'm but like, now. holy <laughs> shit, it's sick. Oh, not close enough. Could have been dangerous. Oh, there's oh, a downstairs. There's a staircase. Good to know. Uh, one parry could do this, but I'm a little concerned about a whiff. He he wow. deaggroed. Yeah. yeah, he actually just deaggroed. Be wary of strong foe. An iron door. And a chest. Trying to look for ambushes. Nobody falling. Hey. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. There we go. Uh, adding affinities. Is that the same thing? Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at sites of greats. Uh, uh, these are the... Uh, yes, this is giving them the, like, fire stat or lightning stat to okay. your weapon. Uh, so you do two at one. Two at once. Ashes of War, Storm, Stomp. Whetstone Knife. So that lets us do it. All right. So one. Uh, let me take a look at this. Flail. Weapon consisting of bludgeoning head attached at the handle of a chain. Ball is spiked and induces blood loss. Uh, blows from this weapon can not be parried. The charge attack whirls the iron ball <laughs> for increased force before striking. No <laughs> parry. <laughs> huh. That sounds like it has PvP application. Yeah. And the skill spinning chain spins the striking part of the flail at high speed to attack follow up with a normal or strong attack to link the momentum of this skill into a successive attack. Interesting. Requires more decks. 18, 18 decks. Dex weapon. It is not a strength weapon. I mean, you're swinging it pretty well. But I guess it could be better. Mm-hmm. So, dex weapons don't... Uh, usually, dex weapons still let you see the moveset, mm. whereas strength don't. Mm-hmm. Flail. Can you do your special spinning ball thing? Flail. Or is that the thing that makes it... Um, can you use the skills if you don't have the requirements for no. it? No. Okay. See spinning chain? Oh, it's, yeah, it's blocked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, he can do it. Oh, he's trying. But it's... Oh, yeah, I guess I can. But it's just not going to be... Two-handed? Is that why it's working? Yeah. Yeah. And then you can turn it into that. Okay. So just like in Dark Souls, if you Ooh, have, like... R2. Two-hand... You can still maneuver it if you got enough stats. Uh, it's it's. I saw it crossed out, so that made me think like 
You know, perhaps not. Oh, shit. You know what? Yeah, this is also crossed out. Yeah. Okay. I just realized that, like... Um, so the parry becomes the skill because that's the shield in my hand. Torch attack, etc. It's so... Whatever's happening in my left hand... Is going to choose the skill that we have there. But if we're two-handing... Then it's going to become the weapon we're, we're already holding. Oh, what was the thing that said if one skill doesn't work, it'll use the skill of the other hand or something? Let's sit down and get our FP back. And... Oh. Let's just do this then. Right, so... To get is that another cabin? No, that's the same one. That's the same one, right? Pretty sure it's the same one, isn't it? I forget what was the first one. Well, here in any case, what I wanted to test was. No, we weren't. We weren't that close to the wall. I think. Anyway, take care of this. Yeah, guy yeah, yeah. Uh, so when you're two-handing, then. Now you can do your impaling, impaling thrust. thrust. Oh, and it takes FP. Yes, it does. Down he goes. It cooks for a while and it lets you set it up. That's really cool. Oh yeah, get that thing before they respawn. Ah, uh, this is different. I have to get used to looking at this as a thing to interact with and raid. Lord Sword's Great Sword, let's fucking go. Is it... Is it good? It's not broken. Well-crafted straight sword with an illustrious design, wielded by regulars of the Lord's army. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have otherwise been kept in a serviceable condition, despite the soldiers having long since lost their mind. And the skill is stamp, upward cut. Brace armament and step into a low stance that prevents recoil from most enemies. Follow up with a strong attack for an upward strike. Sounds interesting. Uh, here, I'm heavy loaded. Uh, would it be too heavy if I... Yep, it still would. Uh, we'll pull the torch out when we need it. Yeah, okay. Um, what are you... Oh, hold on a second. Requirements 16... 10 decks, we do fit the requirements. The uh, difference between this and that, yeah, a nice little extra 36 or so. Uh, scaling DD versus that scales a bit more with decks. All right, it's a sword, and it's got a f uh, move, it's got a fifth swing. Which I think a lot of games have. A lot of game things in this game have, yeah. Uh, there we go. R2. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yep. The classic moveset. Can you... Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. Spinning. All right. It's yeah. It's just a. It's a fucking. It's it's, a sword. it's it's the classic. Now the stamp. Huh. What? And this does something. It looks like it 
Yeah. That. Let's get the description on that again. Brace armament and step into a low stance that prevents recoil from most enemy attacks. Yeah, I guess so. So you absorb this thing and then you do a strong attack. Right. But does it uh, prevents recoil? But do you still take the damage? Boom. Oh yeah. Yeah. That that's the question is do you yeah. just do you tank the damage and then keep it going? Uh that's interesting. I wanna guess yes, but and if I put my sword away, then it's stab. Yes. Okay, so that's what it is. So by default your your skill is going to go towards the left hand. Um Unless there's nothing in the left, then it goes over to right. Or unless you're two-handing, then it goes with whatever you're holding. So, um, in order to get that thrust out, basically, I need to two-hand or put the shield away for, like, when I was using the S-Stock. Okay. You know? um, I wonder if there's a way to have a shield with no skill, and then it'll always go to your sword skill but mm. stuff to figure out in due time and I don't want to be running around like that though yeah so I do like the damage on this improved want the lighter load but we need to figure out how to lighten the load like putting on our old pants again Maybe we should have increased our endurance a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 1273. What's our next level? 1445. Not enough. You need to pop one. More than one. You have 1273? Oh, yeah. No, it'd be under. You're correct. And you have six in your pocket. Level up by one. Take us to 51. Oh, that's substantial. Uh, 94, 95, and yeah, two points of... Almost two pounds. Or points, rather. I don't know what's yeah. the measure. Points of, of weight, <laughs> yeah. Do they use Imperial or Metric in the Eld <laughs> in Elden Ring? Good question. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Put on one of these. Yeah, I guess we're just going back. I guess we're just going back to the lighter. Can I get one of these Heavy. on, though? No? Okay. Damn, that sword is just... It's going to take everything. All right. How hard does it hit? Or rather, let's see if we can tank damage. So, mm -hmm. one, two. And right now your Flask of Cerulean Tears is equipped. FYI. All right. Oh, takes one hit. One. Takes one hit. Not oh, critical. Too early. <laughs> That's the effect that I like. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Worth it. <laughs> yep, yep. Worth it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Straight up launcher. Yeet. Straight up launcher. <laughs> two S. Aerial rave. <laughs> Air that, combo. That was not two H. That was two S. That's two S. <laughs> Pop. Boom. Oh. Absolutely two S. <laughs> Counter. 
Oh my god. I'll take that trade all day. And he just died, right? Yep. He just died. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Rollick and good start. That was good. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs>